Assalamu alaikum, this is Farwa Batul, your O-level computer science instructor and welcome to another video of chapter number 10, Boolean logic. Here we are doing question number 1, part D of activity 10.4. The question is simple, draw the logic circuits and complete the truth tables for the following logic or Boolean expressions. The expression, logic expression is given to you. What you have to do, make a logic circuit for it and make a truth table. So let's quickly do that. It's a very simple logic expression with inputs A, B, and C. So first, I'm going to make the logic circuit for the given expression. Remember that in order to make the logic circuit, you have to consider the input brackets, the brackets that you have. So the first bracket is A and not B. Let's make the circuit for the inner brackets. A and not, me, not B means that you have two input lines. First is A and other is B. This is A, this is B. But since in your expression it's written not B, so we will pass B through an inverter. Done. Now, here I have A and here, here I have B not. We are done with this. Now A and B naught are going to pass through an AND gate. So I will be making an AND gate here. And the result will be A and not B. We are done with the first bracket. Now quickly moving towards the second bracket that says that you have not B and C. Not B and C means that B, the input B, is again going through an inverter so that you will be getting not B. Okay. So I have not B and the other is C. So it is another input C. Now both of these lines are going to another AND gate. So that you will have not B and C. Once you are done with these two brackets, this one and this one, now pass the input lines through an OR gate. So the input lines I have is this one and this one. These, these two will become the inputs of the OR gate so that you will be getting the final output. So here we go. Now look at this. The final output is represented with X. So I can simply write that X equals to the first bracket. The first input is A and not B passing through an OR gate with another input which is not B and C. So this is how you are going to make the logic circuit for the given example. Now quickly moving towards the second part that is the truth table. I have already made the truth table here on Excel. I'm just going to explain you that why I made these different columns. But before that, let me write the logic expression again. Okay, so here we go. The second part is the truth table. Since you have three inputs, A, B, and C, that's why I have made three columns. Input A, input B, and input C. These are your basic inputs that are going through an uh, through a logic circuit. Next, I will see that what are the values that are being inverted. Here is not B, here is not B. So it means I can make one column for not B since the value of B, input B, is inverted. Now, the second column is to calculate the values of the first bracket that is A and not B. And this one, this is to calculate the values of not B and C, the inner brackets. And finally, this will be your result. You will OR the values of first and the second bracket. So let's quickly start with the work. Let me write the eight different combinations for these 
three input values. So it will be starting with 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Then it will be double 0, double 1, double 0, double 1. It is four zeros. In this way, we will be making eight different binary combinations for three input values. Now for not B, you have to invert the values of column B. It becomes 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Just look at column B and invert the binary data that is mentioned there. So for 0, it becomes 1 and for 1, it becomes 0. Now the next column says that calculate A and not B which means A is here and not B is here and you have to or the values and you have to multiply them. It's an end operator between them. So 0 into 1 becomes 0. 0 into 1 is 0. 0 into 0 is 0. 0 into 0 0. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 1 is 1. 1 into 0 is 0, 1 into 0 is 0. We are done with this. Let me just make it a little clean for you. Okay, so the next column says that you have to calculate not B and C. Not B is here and C is here. So you will do and operation between them. And operation means multiplication of the bits. 0 into 1 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. 0 into 0 is 0. 1 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. 1 into 1 is 1. 0 into 0 is 0. 1 into 0 is 0. So here we go. We are done with this with this second bracket also. Now quickly finding out our final result that will be calculated by considering these two columns and there is an OR operator. OR operator means you will add the binary data that is in these two columns. A and not B, not B and C. So let's add 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0. So this is how you are going to find out the values of your final result. That is going to be your truth table results. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope things are quite understandable. If you have any question, you can comment below. In the next video, we will be doing the last question, the last part of question number one, part E. Stay tuned, stay connected and do not forget to subscribe the channel. Bye-bye.